Let's be honest for a second. Most software updates are boring. You install them, you look around for 5 minutes, you say okay, that's nice, and then you forget what actually changed. So the real question is simple, is One UI 8.5 just another forgettable update, or is it something you'll actually notice every single day? I've been using it long enough now to answer that honestly. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Insight so you never miss your daily tech updates. When I first installed One UI 8.5, I didn't say wow, nothing exploded, nothing screamed new, and that's exactly why this update is interesting. Because the changes are not designed to impress you in screenshots. They're designed to fix annoyances you stopped complaining about years ago. The first thing you slowly realize is that the interface feels more organized. Not just cleaner, organized. Your eyes don't have to work as hard anymore. Menus don't feel stacked on top of each other. Buttons don't fight for attention. There's more space, more separation, more logic. Samsung is clearly moving away from the old everything on one layer look and building a system that feels more structured and easier to read. Then there's the way things are placed. This is where One UI 8.5 quietly wins. Search bars, important actions, and frequently used controls are now closer to where your thumb actually is. Big phones have always been uncomfortable, but we just accepted it. This update doesn't make your phone smaller, but it makes it feel smaller to use. And that changes everything in daily life. The settings app shows this philosophy perfectly. Older versions felt like a long list you had to scroll and hunt through. Now it feels more like a well-organized control room. You go in, you find what you need, you leave. Less thinking, less friction. Let's talk about customization, because this is another area where Samsung finally stopped pretending and actually delivered. The quick panel is no longer something you tolerate. It's something you design. You choose what stays. You choose what goes. You choose how big things are and where they live. And once you set it up properly, you stop digging through menus and start controlling your phone faster. Performance is another quiet improvement, not benchmark YouTuber improvement, real world improvement. Animations feel more stable. The system feels less nervous. Apps open and close without drama. The phone feels more confident. And yes, that's the best word for it, confident. Now let's clear up something about the camera. If you're expecting a revolutionary camera update, this isn't it. But if you care about control, consistency, and future potential, One UI 8.5 is actually very important. Pro modes are cleaner. Previews are more accurate. Camera Assistant is no longer just a hidden menu. It feels like a real extension of the camera system. Video is going in the same direction. Log recording, better color controls, and early signs of more serious editing workflows tell us something very clearly. Samsung is preparing for creators, not just casual users. This update doesn't finish that journey, but it makes the road visible. Samsung DeX is one of those features people love to ignore until they use it properly. And One UI 8.5 makes it much harder to ignore. Multiple desktops turn DeX into something that actually resembles a real computer experience. Work, browsing, editing, entertainment, all in separate spaces, all on one device. This is not a gimmick anymore. This is a strategy. Galaxy AI also becomes more useful instead of more flashy. The new generative editing flow is faster, simpler, and safer to use. The best part is the history system. You can experiment without fear. You can try things, undo them, compare results, and keep the version you like. That sounds small, but it changes how often you actually use these tools. Now, let's talk about the bad stuff. Because yes, there is bad stuff. Some features are still unfinished. Some good luck modules aren't fully updated. Some bugs still exist. Some people still want features like app lock that should have been here already. And because this is still not the final release for everyone, that's expected. But here's the difference. This update feels like it knows where it's going. One UI 8.5 is not trying to impress you today. It's trying to make sure you're still happy six months from now. And that's a very different kind of upgrade. So no, One UI 8.5 is not flashy. It's not dramatic. 
It's not revolutionary. It's something better. It's thoughtful. And in 2026, that might be the most underrated feature of all.